Poco seems to have gone on a full launching spree. From the global launch of the Poco X3 yesterday to the Indian launch of the Poco M2 today. So are we gonna get something new with the Poco M2? Or is this gonna be yet another rebrand like the Poco M2 Pro? Well, let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Omoto here from C4 eTech and today's video is all about everything you need to know about the Poco M2. So if you do end up finding this video useful, then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. Well, let's kick things off by addressing the elephant in the room. Yeah, the Poco M2 is basically the Redmi 9 Prime. Visually, Poco has tried to change up the design a bit. We have the same two-tone design that we saw in the Poco M2 Pro make its way here. Other than that, it's pretty much a carbon copy. From the quad rear cameras to the textured finish on the back, everything is the same. Okay, not everything. We do have one more external difference. Poco is offering the M2 in three color finishes. We have brick red, slate blue, and the classic pitch black. Now, if you guys were hoping that if not in the looks, maybe Poco had changed something around in the specs, well, I'd hate to disappoint you, but the Poco M2 is just a more powerful Redmi 9 Prime. Why more powerful? Well, that's because the Redmi 9 Prime pairs its MediaTek Helio G80 processor with only 4 gigs of RAM. The Poco M2 steps that up to 6 gigs while maintaining the same 64 or 128 gigs of internal storage. The dedicated microSD card slot also returns, so there's always room for future expansion. We also have the Mali G52 MC2 GPU in here. It's got a max clock of 950 MHz and should be able to handle most games. Moving on then to battery life, once more, both phones share the same 5000 mAh battery capacity and can support up to 18 watts fast charging. Now going by our experiences with the Poco M2 Pro, I thought Poco might have included the faster 18W charger. Well no, just like the Redmi, it's a 10W charger here. Either way, no changes in battery, which means we head down to software. Now, MIUI for Poco has always been one of its main selling points. After all, unlike Redmi, the Poco UI doesn't come littered with ads. We also get a Poco launcher, which is a pretty nice add-on, and the company seems to be promising that MIUI 12 will come to their entire lineup pretty soon. So that means more new features are coming to the Poco M2. By the way, we have already made a video on the new features of MIUI 12. So cut to that. Check that out if you haven't yet. And with that, it's a wrap on all the differences between the Redmi and the Poco. But what about the similarities? Well, we already have a video on the Redmi 9 Prime up on our channel. So check that one out if you want to know all the tiny details. As for now, here's a quick rundown of the remaining specs. The Poco M2 comes with the same 6.53 inch Full HD Plus LCD panel as the Redmi 9 Prime. It also shares the same 8 megapixel selfie camera tucked into the water drop notch at the top. We also have Corning's Gorilla Glass 3 for protection, both through the front as well as to the quad rear camera module on the back. And yes, these cameras are all the same, starting from the 13 megapixel primary camera, the 8 megapixel ultra wide, the 5 megapixel macro, and finally the 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now, Poco might tune these sensors a little bit differently, but for the most parts, we expect similar results from the optics on both the M2. As for sundries, the Poco M2 retains the headphone jack, dual mics, the IR blaster, and it even comes with a P2i nano coating for splash resistance. And that's basically all there is to the Poco M2. It's a slightly improved Redmi 9 Prime, and well, as expected, it comes at a slightly higher price point. So the base 664 variant of the Poco M2 costs 10,999 rupees, a thousand rupees more than the 464 GB version of the Redmi 9 Prime. As for the higher 6128 gig version, at 12,499 is just 500 rupees more than the 4128 gig variant of the Redmi. Now, is it worth spending that extra premium on two extra gigs of RAM and an adless experience? Well, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what do you think of this rebranding strategy that Poco has recently adopted? Like, on one hand, I would like the phone makers to come out with unique devices, but on the other hand, Poco is taking already excellent Redmi phones and making them even better. And that's good for us, the end users, right? So, 
I'm kind of conflicted here and I want to know what you guys feel. So let me know. Leave it down in the comments below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. As always, like, share, subscribe. And oh, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching till the end, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.